Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, October 6th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and ding dong, the heat wave is dead. Boy, it's been a mess the last uh, couple of weeks across Alabama. Highs on Saturday, still reaching records. 97 at Birmingham. It was 97 at Tuscaloosa. 97 at Montgomery was not a record um, because their um, uh, their high was their record high was 99 for the date. So they did not reach that before thunderstorms moved into the area. Same at Anniston where they uh, achieved 92 um, before some thunderstorms moved in the area, but they fell short of the record. Muscle Shovels, a record at 98. Huntsville, uh, also a record at 97. Looking back over the 2019 heat wave by the numbers, three days this past week, Alabama had the hottest spot in the nation. That's just amazing. 103 at Birmingham. That's our hottest uh, October reading ever on the 1st. Nine straight days of record highs at Birmingham and 20 consecutive days at or above 90 degrees at Birmingham. It finally rained last night at the airport. It had not done that since September 14th. And with the exception of the 13th and 14th of September, we had been flatlined on rain uh, since late August, uh, since we had a big rain event at my house, uh, 4.57 inches of rain in just 50 minutes. Uh, back on that August the 23rd, uh, we had hardly seen any rain. Um, I think we had seen uh, 500 of an inch somewhere along the way. But the drought had uh, gotten uh, pretty severe in our area, and especially over um, Shelby County down into Chilton County. Uh, some improvement uh, today over parts of Alabama to the north of I-59. Um, but, it, you know, what's interesting is that over the 365 days, uh, you know, that last 90 days, this flash drought was pretty um, intense at Birmingham and in central Alabama. But, uh, you know, at the Birmingham airport, we've been above normal since uh, mid-December last year uh, in the 365-degree or 365-day rainfall department. Now, don't expect much over the next few days. Rain chances are going to go up, um, certainly tonight and um, certainly on Monday. But um, the remainder of the week going to be fairly seasonal in terms of precipitation. Uh, not much expected. Uh, these um, five-day totals off of, from the WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, uh, showing generally, you know, quarter to half inch across north central Alabama, maybe some higher amounts up toward the Tennessee Valley. Let's go day by day, starting today. Some scattered showers uh, over western Alabama. See the big uh, ridge of high pressure there uh, off the east coast. That's uh, pushed this wedge front into Alabama yesterday, and that caused. Uh, the showers and storms highest today. Uh, generally going to be in the 80s. We'll see some 90s uh, smattered in down or across the Black Belt, South Central Alabama, places like Marion. Uh, Montgomery could see 90 today. Some other places will approach it. Um, I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed that uh, we may have seen our last 90 degree reading in Birmingham, but can't rule it out uh, depending on the clouds and rain today. Now, for Monday, a front um, approaching Alabama, not going to have a tremendous amount to work with, just enough for um, you know a few scattered showers, a little bit of thunder, uh, rainfall amounts between a quarter and a half inch, uh, better rain chances to the north, of course. That activity is out of here by Tuesday afternoon. There could be a few lingering showers Tuesday morning. Uh, but the good news is that we'll see um, cooler temperatures, um, some widespread lower and middle 50s, uh, upper 50s, Tuesday morning and uh, highs on Tuesday only topping out in the upper 70s to near 80 across the area. Wednesday, a uh, big ridge of high pressure continuing. Uh, we'll warm up just a bit lower 80s across much of the area starting off around 60 in the morning. And then by Thursday, it's uh, kind of more of the same. Starting off in the lower 60s, rising into the uh, lower and middle 80s during the day so fairly typical or well fairly nice maybe a little still above normal especially in the afternoon uh, high temperature department uh, by Friday another front working its way towards Alabama this could be a, another um, a fairly decent rainfall maker nothing uh, really substantial maybe a half to one inch coming out of that system it is through the area by Saturday afternoon that spells um, uh, decent weather for the day on Saturday highs in the 70s, uh, starting off after morning lows in the middle 50s, and I think uh, Sunday could be 
even a little cooler as high pressure settles in. That looks like 40s in the morning, probably lower middle 70s in the afternoon. That will feel quite nice. Nothing much happening that following week across Alabama. You can see here by Wednesday, we've got a front just to our northwest. Maybe some increased shower chances in the latter half of the week. Uh, but we could see a tropical depression or tropical storm down in the southwestern Caribbean, uh, maybe heading towards Yucatan. Um, and that will be something interesting to watch. But um, all the tropical activity in September really cooled off the tropical Atlantic. And um, that's what hurricanes are supposed to do, is move uh, heat from the uh, equator to the poles. And it's uh, that happened here in the latter half of the hurricane season in 2019. High temperatures off the GFS show those uh, lower and middle 80s much of the week ahead. Uh, maybe some hitting at some 60s on Saturday. I think probably we're going to be in the 70s Saturday. Probably 70s on Sunday. Then we'll climb back into the lower 80s uh, for that uh, middle part of the month into the latter half of the month. That's your weather video for this Sunday, the 6th of October. James will be back with two days tomorrow. I'll have notes on the blog. Scott will be back next Saturday. I'll hit sit here next Sunday. And as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.